starting off on the 4000 favorite emperor and just a little white top water bait right here a little walking bait all we're doing throwing it up as close and as tight as we can to the seawall and just walking the dog right off the wall At the moment, we've taken a break from throwing top water. We're we'll see if we can catch some live mole. I know if we get some live bait, we could probably wreck a very large fish today. But bait's not always easy to catch around here, and when it's overcast, it's very hard to see. So we're gonna try to see if we can find some mullet. That right there is a perfect size mullet, but we need about a dozen of them. So right in front of us, Chelsea actually spotted it. She's like, what's that poking its head out of the water? And I was like, yeah, it's probably like a turtle or a cormorant or something. It's actually a juvenile bull shark cruising around with his dorsal fin completely out of the water up here. Got the silver. Got the big Komodo. The favorite big sexy, 60 pound leader, 50 pound braid, seven knot, and about a seven inch, eight inch silver mullet on the back end of it. This should be a fun morning. I think we're gonna crush some good fish here. Right. Oh God, look at this, look at this, look at this, ready? Watch this. That's it, that's it. He didn't even get it, he dropped it. Oh my gosh, I saw that fish wake up. He slammed it. My mullet's like dead, it's not doing any good. I can't believe that fish dropped it. He creamed that mullet. Look at these teeth mark on it. The thing is raw. He literally just hammered it and then instantly dropped it. This mullet, this boy's ready to get eaten. So all we're doing, we're cruising down this canal and making skip casts with his bait caster with our bait underneath these docks and kind of just letting that mullet swim around up in the dock for as long as we can before he tries to get caught, like that one just did. Got a nice big fat seawall in front of us, nice little silver mullet rigged up, and the meat stick is ready to go. It's been a slow morning, but the tide hasn't been super favorable. It basically switched at 9 a.m., so it's like right at sunrise, we had a good chance to catch some fish, and we threw top waters and nothing really happened. And then for about, from 8 a.m. till almost 11, the water just really wasn't moving and fish were just not eating. So we've reset, caught some live mullet. Hopefully, we get some fish. Oh my God, that is a barracuda. God, oh my Lord, that was a huge cuda. And instantly just cut my line. <laughs> Oh, come on, like the first bite I've had in like two hours. Oh, there's a little snook on him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh, you missed him, you suck, dude. He's still sitting right here, I still see him. I don't even know if this thing's big enough to eat this thing. Oh, there's a jack rolling in. Did they hear the noise? Turn around, hear the noise. Snook's back on it. Get him, get him. <laughs> Did you get him? Oh, he munched him. Oh, no, he didn't. Dude, this is like, this snook is just awful. Get him again, come on. I have so much faith in you, dude. You got this. Third time's a charm. It was like a 20, probably 25, 26 inch snook. He just couldn't even eat the mullet. It is fun watching those ones try to eat though, because they are so aggressive. 
I probably could have just reached in the back and tried to find the smallest mullet I had, but I, uh, I don't really care that much about catching that fish, or at least not catching that fish, I'd say I don't care about. That was funny though. Oh, something's trying to eat me. Something's trying to eat me. Come on, eat it. Oh, there he is. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my God, that fish was far. That's a big jack, I think. I'm just trying to completely turn this thing. My Lord, that was insane. So my mullet started all of a sudden kicking really hard on the surface and I was like, what's going on? And then I just see a big swirl behind it and I'm like, okay, okay, this could be good. And then just a good sized jack. I don't think it's like a monstrous one, but it's a good one. He hammered the living crap out of it and turned the boat in a complete 180. I have this drag absolutely hammered on this fish. He's not even a huge one, but he's beautiful. Very beautiful fish. Oh, come on. It is been a trying day. We've been fishing for six hours now, and this is the first fish at almost one in the afternoon. And we've been using live bait pretty much the whole day. Like it's been a surprisingly tough day. And these fish are so freaking ridiculous. This isn't even a big one either, man. I mean, he's a good sized jack. He's probably like 10 pounds or so, but this isn't even one of the big ones we've been seeing today. Look at that. Nice fat J hook right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful Jack Reval right there. I bet he's 10, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds in that range somewhere. Talk about a beast. I love these fish so much. They fight harder than anything you're gonna catch in shore. Honestly, pound for pound wise, they are an incredible fish. And uh, a lot of times a very great day saver. And he came in and saved the day today. Hopefully we can catch one or two more fish and maybe one about double, triple the size would be epic. But it's a good thing. We're gonna release buddy, get rolling. All right, if you don't know anything about Jack Creval, they never stop swimming. So the best way to release them most of the time is just head first, nose dive. Unless you fought one for a really long time, I like to hold them, especially the really huge ones. I like to run them by the trolling motor and get water pumping through their gills. But smaller fish, head first, get some pumping. Because Jack, unlike snook and bass and even barracuda, they never stop swimming. So like holding them by the boat and just shaking them side to side like I would with a snook, doesn't really do anything to them. It actually kind of hurts them more. Good fish. If you look at my hands, they are disgusting. Slimed up, but I'm happy to be slimed right now. We're gonna throw a new mullet on, switch spots, hopefully find another fish. All right, we've molded back up. We've hopped spots. Let's see if we can find another fish. Oh Lord, what just happened? What? Something's chewing the crap out of it. Yeah, yeet. oh, I just missed it. <laughs> There's a little jack. I just yoided him. Oh, there we go. Did. Are you kidding me? That literally just slurped it directly off the hook. Just, what is this? This, is, this has been such a unbelievably frustrating day of just like moments like that of having a small snook just slurp this mullet straight off the hook, watching a snook try to eat it for like two minutes straight and him being too small to even have it. It's been a tough day. We have, I don't know, I think maybe like four or five mullet left in the well and probably about two hours of good fishing time left with the tides. 
We're gonna see if we can make it happen. I would like to catch one more fish and I think it's plausible, but we gotta put the work in. It has not been an easy day. It has been an easy week. I was just saying to Chelsea, we have fished so hard this week and have caught some really good fish, but it's been really tough and the fish have been few and far between. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, there it is. Oh, he just came off. Good Lord. Oh, that was a barracuda. Holy crap. That makes more sense. Whew. That is brutal. I was like, wow, I thought that fish had it. That makes more sense. That was just a big meaty cuda. Second one of the day. That's kind of annoying. That's crazy. So here's a little bit of tidbit of knowledge for you. If you ever heard an old timer bait and that works really well is a mullet head. And you're looking at the exact reason why is because barracudas, bluefish, and sharks will bite the back end of mullets and leave literally a perfect floating head like that floating through the river. And so snook and tarpon have become accustomed to eating heads over thousands of years or whatever. And so it's not, you would think, okay, how is a mullet head gonna work? How would that be a good presentation? It's become like an actual natural bait and a natural forage for some of these fish. And that's why something as goofy as a mullet head can work really, really well because what just happened right there. Oh my God almighty. It didn't even hit me. I scared it, dude. That thing was freaking massive. All right. Well, almost had our last minute redemption fish, but that is gonna be it. I will meet you guys back at the house. Boom, back home. I think it's just become a custom now that I'm always wearing one of these hoodies whenever I'm closing out a video. It was a tough day. One of those days where I was surprised that the bite was that tough even with mullet. I just don't think we ever really ran into any huge fish other than maybe that last one that I spooked. Had a multiple snook and multiple jack that tried to eat the mullet. They were just a little too small. You know, they're not small fish, but too small to eat a eight, nine inch silver mullet. And it was a hard day and spent close to from spent from 6.30 in the morning, got in the water, and didn't stop fishing until 2.30 in the afternoon to show one fish and a handful of really cool blow-ups, but that's fishing sometimes. You just gotta go out and put the work in and worked hard just for one decent jack, but that's life, and I was happy to even just catch that fish. It has been very, very fun being back in the boat. I definitely missed it, and never take it for granted again. It's been awesome getting back out there on the river and slaying some fish. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's nice to be back to our roots and get back to pitching live mullet and throwing some big giant topwaters soon enough. I appreciate you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click that down below. Hit the little notification bell. That will keep you up to date whenever I post a video. That is it, you guys. I appreciate the heck out of you. Until the next video, peace.